The Willamette Valley is such a fertile, supple land with rolling hills, vineyards, and farms dotted with little inlets of woods. It feels really real because it is really real. It's Oregon's agricultural wonderland. My name is Bonnie Morales. I'm the chef and owner of Kochka in Portland, Oregon. I always visit the Willamette Valley because there's such a diversity of artisans and farmers that put their hearts into beautiful products that they're proud of. Pollinate, the type of agriculture that they do there is progressive and doesn't look like a traditional farm. It's just amazingly dense and vertical. We picked, well, we're about 800 species at this point of perennials. And we started building a perennial ecosystem based on a food forest where you're picking plants that are useful to humans. It almost feels like I'm going through a botanical garden, but it's a functioning farm. This is what the future of farming is going to be. A lot of times in your gardens, you have your vegetable garden and your flower garden, but you can put those together those flowers bring in insects that will then eat pests on your right. vegetables. You're creating an integrated pest management system where you don't need to use pesticides or herbicides. As a chef, I think it's important to go to places like Pollinate to understand how things should be grown. Durant at Red Ridge Farms is a winery and an olive mill that has been such a staple in the Willamette Valley for so long. We've been growing for 45 years and it's always been more farming oriented. Right. It's hard to give it one description because they're doing so many things up there. These organ oils are a little thicker, a little more intense. So this is kind of right in the vein of what my family's always done here. Beautiful color. When you take a sip of it, you slurp yeah, it almost. They, yeah, mm -hmm. they pull a little bit of air through right. it and then let it go back across your palate. Yeah, that's got some fire. It smells meaty. Yeah. I've worked with their olive oils, but we'll actually be up there and see the trees and the press and steps that they have taken to bring that to this region is really inspiring. Super cool. It's really cool. I, yeah, I am the luckiest guy on the planet. <laughs> I am so lucky. <laughs> Wolves and People is a cool, progressive farmhouse brewery. They just brew so many different, interesting beers that make you sort of stop and say, what is going on? And you just can't stop drinking them. We want to be brewing with things that are available to us in season and at the moment in time. Christian approaches his brewing with the sense of curiosity. We have ruffled hazelnut table stout. To make it, we infuse hazelnuts from the farm and local white truffles from the valley. The beer allows the truffle flavor to open up, but also it's sort of a little prison for the truffle. It can't go anywhere. And so it really allows you to ponder it. Just such a fantastic pairing. That's what makes this project so exciting for me is like we get to use the things that are right here. The Willamette Valley has very, very nutrient-rich soil that draws like-minded people. You feel the passion and raw love of the craft, and so traveling in the Willamette Valley is really inspiring. <laughs>